In today's video, I'm going to show you how we had a pretty bad trading session, gaining only a 57% win rate. But by using a particular strategy, we were able to turn that around into an 87% profitability. The concepts that we're going to be sharing with you in today's video are extremely important that when applied correctly to your trading can improve your overall profitability. So whether you're new to trading or struggling in your trading and you are aspiring to be a binary option trader, this is a video you don't want to miss. As always, we're going to review the results results, share with you our live trading footage and breakdown of the positions taken during our live session. If you enjoyed today's content and gain any value, like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out our trading resources down below in our video description, including free demo accounts, information of our trading group and much, much more. But without further ado, let's get started. If you have any questions as we go through this video, feel free to comment down below. And you can also reach me directly anytime, either via email or telegram. You can access all my contact information down below in the video description. And as a reminder to use demo accounts whenever you're testing out new strategies or trading methods that you want to implement into your training. Demo accounts are tools that allow you to trade in a real life environment without risking any money. As many of you know, we conduct a majority of our binary option trading on this platform known as Pocket Options, a fantastic broker that's been around for nearly 10 years. They provide free demo accounts which you can use anytime. Not only is it great for trading, but it's also great for securing your profits. And speaking about securing profits, we recently uploaded a brand new video regarding our latest withdrawal using the Pocket Options platform. So if you haven't seen that yet, I'll leave the link to that video down below in the video description. So like I mentioned earlier, we had a pretty bad session where as you can see based off of the results, it wasn't ideal. You know, you can see that we had some winning trades, but we also had some substantial losses, which affected our overall win rate. We were using a certain strategy that uses the Donchain channel and the STC. And for the most part, this strategy has worked out very well. However, in this session, it started off good where our first position for Euro USD did close in a profit. However, the trades following after that weren't ideal. Next trade, we took a double position, which our first position ended up closing for a loss. And then the other trade closed in a win. So far, two out of three winning trades followed by another loss here we took a couple of consecutive trades for gbp jpy and for usd jpy which fortunately closed in our favor for a profitable one minute sell and then our final trade for usd jpy we entered for a one minute buy which closed in a loss so when we take a look at our trading history, you can see that we did a total of seven trades. And because of the losses that we had sustained, we only gained a 57% profitability. So technically, this wasn't a losing session because we were able to walk away with a $570 profit, but the win rate was not ideal. And the main issue is the turnover in comparison to the profit. Yes, technically, this wasn't a loss because we were able to walk away with a profit of $570. But if you look at the turnover, we invested over $6,000 for for this particular session. Now, just to clarify, your turnover is the amount of trades multiplied by the value of those individual trades. In this session, we did a total of seven trades, each trade valued at $950 a piece. 950 multiplied by seven is gonna give you your turnover. So the fact that we invested $6,650 just to make a profit of $570 is terrible. This is not a good profit to turnover ratio. Now, the purpose of this segment is it to go over the rules of this particular strategy using the Donchain channel and the STI. This is something that we've covered in previous videos. And of course, it is something that we will go over in future videos as well. What I want you to take away from this portion of today's video is to understand when it's time to walk away. Is it the strategy's fault we lost three out of seven trades? No. Is it the strategy's fault that we only had a 57% profitability? No, it's not. Remember, every properly structured rules-based strategy works. The difference is how you use it and the conditions of the markets at the time that you are using any strategy. We have had many successful sessions using this particular strategy. Unfortunately, at the time, conditions weren't ideal. And this is going to happen with any strategy you use. And when it does happen, you have to know when to walk away. What traders do a lot of times is whenever they see results like this, they don't stop. They just keep going. And granted, while on one side, you could argue you could have had better results if you just kept trading. Yes, that might have been true. And we would have been able to maybe have a better win rate. But that also goes hand in hand with the other scenario and continue to lose more trades. Remember that the markets are not going anywhere. You can trade binary options virtually 24 hours a day, five days a week. And if you include OTC, you can trade 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if the markets suck, leave, walk away and come back at a later time or come back the next day. When you come back, the markets will be there ready for you to trade. 
So needless to say, this wasn't an ideal session. So what did I do? I walked away. I went to the gym, took care of my kids, you know, did other things around the house, do something else, walk away from the charts, which is something everyone should do whenever you encounter markets not providing you with the proper setups. It doesn't matter who you are, your skill level, or what strategy you're using. Everybody's going to have losing days. Some people have losing weeks, but it's how you handle those moments where markets aren't going in your favor that can make a big difference between having a temporary losing moment or blowing the money that you have. This is why it's so important to educate yourself with how these markets work, having a proper trading plan and risk management you follow on a strict basis that will allow you to not only sustain the losses that you can and will endure, but also maintain the profits that you've earned to grow your account over time. Now, what we're about to show you is the turnaround of the following session after that losing session, which as you can see, came out extremely well, where I think out of a total of maybe 13 trades, we only lost two positions. This is why I stress the importance of education and taking the time to learn how to trade these markets. Because when you do this, you'll be able to navigate these markets at an optimal level. And of course, be able to use and master any strategy to your advantage. Now, I personally created a mentorship where I teach everything that I've learned in regards to binary option and forex trading, as well as various other features that will empower you to become a better and successful trader, regardless if you're new to trading or struggling in your trading. If you're seeing about trading these markets. Take the time to learn how to trade. Whether you join my mentorship or someone else's mentorship, invest in yourself, invest in your education, you're going to see a major difference. And if you want to learn more about our trading mentorship, I'll leave the link down below in the video description, or you can visit our website anytime. Now, I also want to add a side note in regards to this session. As many of you know, when it comes to trading the binary markets, not only do we use the Pocket Options platform, but I also use a third party charting solution called TradingView. As a trader, whether you're trading futures, Forex, or binary options, it is important that you use a chart like TradingView because this gives you a better view and more tools for your analysis. It is free to use. They do have some paid packages, but you can use TradingView for free. So if you don't have a TradingView account, you can sign up for free. I'll leave the link down below in the video description. Now, in this particular session, we're not using any indicators. We're just relying off of what the markets are providing us in terms of zones, structure, price action, and of course, any patterns that we can identify. In this area of the market, we took a sell trade for EuroCAD. Price was rejecting the supply zone, which also served as resistance here and support here. I also have my trading view chart open. We can get a much better view of Euro AUD. Not only do we have the rejection of this resistance zone, but we are in the midst of a downwards channel. So we took this for a woman itself, which as you can see, closed in profit. Next trade was for AUD CAD. Price was testing this level of resistance, which was previous support. So we took this for a one minute sell. Unfortunately, this trade did not close in our favor. Price ended up blowing through that resistance, which resulted in a loss. Next was for AUD JPY, where we took a one minute sell in this level of the market. We can see that this is tapping into another supply zone created by the previous lower lows. We had the rejection at the supply zone, so we entered for a one minute sell. And as you can see, close in profit. 20 minutes later. Now, this is where things got really interesting because for about 20 minutes, there were no setups. I couldn't really find any optimal positions to enter the market until we started noticing a pattern for Euro Canadian dollar known as the Ascendant Triangle. Within an Ascendant Triangle, you have a level of resistance, but on the lower area, the higher lows are getting higher and higher. An Ascendant Triangle is a type of bullish pattern and eventually cause the breakout. So basically what we're going to see in the next following trades for Euro CAD, every time price came down to this ascending trend line, we entered for one minute buys. And we can see just like what we saw in the image, we have our level of resistance, we have our ascending trend line creating that ascending wedge. And because price tapped into our ascending trend line, we entered for a double position. Here's a screenshot from my trading view chart where we identified the ascending wedge. And as a result, both of these positions close in profit. Next trade for EuroCAD, same thing, tapping into that ascending trend line, entered another double position, which closed beautifully in profit. Now here we notice price broke through our level of resistance. I was expecting price to kind of bounce off of this resistance to serve as support and continue upwards. So we entered for another position. It was a little bit premature. I should have waited for a more optimal entry, but nevertheless, because of the momentum and given the fact that we are in this ascending wedge, these trades, both of these trades closed in profit. Now I want to interject for a moment in case any of this seems a little bit confusing. Don't worry, because this is one of the many things that I teach in my training course. Under 
understanding how to read these markets based off of different levels and zones, timeframes, patterns, structure. When you apply these concepts to your trading and you're able to trade the markets without the use of any indicators, this is what's going to allow you to virtually use any strategy and any indicators to your advantage. This literally makes this literally makes all the difference between those who struggle using different strategies and those who make money from any or no strategy whatsoever. This is exactly what I teach and much, much more. Now, as we continue with the trading footage, you're going to see that we're just entering multiple buy positions as a result of price tapping into that ascending trend line of that wedge, which resulted in another profitable trade. Once again, tapped into that lower level, we entered for another double position as a result of where price is within the wedge. We actually did have a little loss there. That first position closed in a loss because of the timing and position of our entry. But nevertheless, our second position closed in a profit. Now here we can see price is getting towards the tip of that wedge where we're eventually going to see the breakout towards the upside invalidating our supply zone. So I entered for a final double position and as you can see, both trades close in profit for a profitable one minute buy. Now, to be honest, I thought I was going to be done after that last doubled position. However, we finally had the breakout of the wedge. So we entered for one final one minute buy, which as you can see, retesting what was a previous resistance to now serve as support. So we entered for a final one minute buy, which as you can see, closing profit. Obviously, this was a much better trading session from the previous. We're out of a total of 15, uh, excuse me, 15 trades. I, I think I said 13 earlier, but no, 15 trades. Out of a total of 15 trades, we only lost two positions, resulting in an 87% win rate, allowing us to capitalize a much better profit to turnover ratio of $9,462. The irony of this session is that we didn't use any indicators. All we did was rely on what the markets presented us. Remember, folks, that at the end of the day, markets are always going to do whatever it wants, regardless of whatever strategy or indicators you're using. Our job as traders isn't to predict the move of the market, because obviously that would be impossible. Our job is to wait for when things are extremely clear to us based off of what the market is presenting. And we have the right amount of confluences based off of our analysis, based off of our trading plan. And that is when we take advantage of our trading positions. In this scenario, what did the markets present us? A bullish pattern known as an ascending wedge. We have a level of resistance and an ascending trend line, which can be used as a form of support. That is why we didn't enter any sell trades. We only entered buy trades when the market tapped into our ascending trend line. These are the types of confluences you want to be looking for before you take a trade, even when you're using strategies and indicators on your chart. And when you do this, you're going to see much better results, such as what we experienced during the session, losing only two out of 15 trades. If you want to learn how to trade like this, whether you use using indicators or no indicators at all, join my trading academy, invest in yourself, invest in your trading, and you're going to see a massive difference. All right, traders, that concludes our video for today. Again, if you have any questions, reach out anytime. Don't forget to check out our trading resources down below in the video description. I want to thank each and every single one of you for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you enjoyed it, gained some value. And of course, if you want to check out some of our other recent uploads, you can check out any of these videos. And I look forward to seeing you on the next time. Take care.